And what's up you guys? Today is uh, a lot of work to do today. So just now I just completed a ride with uh, the Medeka, what? Road Medeka pula. I just completed a ride with the Rodaling group. Uh, we did about, let me see, about 30 km. And now uh, I think that's a very interesting topic that we should always talk about, which is uh, because Rodaling, they are just also the distributor. I mean Rodaling, Liran Malaysia is also, also the distributor for physics shoes. So I think it's only the perfect time now to ask them, you know, about shoes performance. Like, does a, is a stiffer shoe a better shoe? Um, is a more expensive shoe a better shoe? So let's check out the reason why I want to get involved. Uh, Physic Malaysia and Rodaling mainly because uh, Physic they have a lot of range of shoes ranging from I think 500 ringgit all the way to about 1,008 to 1,500 ringgit so it's a perfect opportunity for me to just um, you know find out more about the Physic shoes uh. so let's go inside and check out and let's see who's gonna allow me to interview them but let me keep my bike first after my bike hilang how use after my bike hilang how <laughs> what you say I jaga for you. <laughs> Yes, let's put my bike here. <laughs> Not <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now today we are at uh, Rodaling Putrajaya. Oh, I stole your line. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're going El Natural, unscripted. So, um, I had some very interesting chat with some of my friends and what I realized is this. Stiffness doesn't matter and I also realized that um, different bikes, uh, different bike, well, uh, different shoe brands, right? They tend to have um, a different measurement of uh, stiffness level. Like leg shoes can have uh, 4, 7, 10, up 12. Physics shoe can have from uh, maybe 5, 7, up to 10. But that doesn't mean that there is an industry standard for stiffness, kan? Yep. So, so now my question is, uh, maybe I'll ask Haikal. Haikal, for physics shoe, which shoe is the most comfortable one? Alright, for the most comfortable one, I would say this Overcurve R4. Okay, if we, we, have, we can see is Malaysian people have wider foot. So this one have the very wide cut. Oh, this is right? a wide one lah. Yeah. Also, it also comes with the nine wide uh, version, but this one is the white version. Okay. This is so, R4. So, so that's good. It, it's nice to see that the industry are going towards the needs of Asian feet. So Asian feet memang lebar. Asian feet are always white. So now that Physic has white shoes, now that you know, you can you can always like come here and show, check out the Physic shoes which has white cut. Lah. So this is the Yang Comfort Nia. Yes. So, Alright, first, if you can see, it has a very white air ventilation. It has Intake, air intake and also the air outtake. Oh. So if, uh, you ride in Malaysia with 40, 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, then you still have the kind of cool sensation uh, oh. in your feet. So it will help you a lot. And also the stiffness is 7, it's not too stiff. Oh. And it is carbon injected sole. Okay. Right. What I noticed as well, uh, when I'm cycling like uh, Audax, right, 200 km. Uh, when I mean, because I, I'm a crazy guy, I always follow like very stiff shoe and this and that. And what I notice is when the shoe is stiff, ah, when you long distance and your kasut, your your, your feet kembang, ah, sakit gila. It's just so much pain. All right, the price for this physic overcurve R4 is 859. Okay, so but, but is there a cheaper version for physic shoe? I yes, saw there's yes. a 400 bucks one, uh, 400 bucks one. Uh, 500 one, yes. This one, this is. Overcurve R5 power ah. strap and also if you want uh, the BOA one or it also have oh, BOA pun ada yeah. semua ada the... Overcurve R5 okay, price? the price is 629 so this is more for the comfort lah kan? yeah this one is uh, fiber so, composite so so let's go towards the stiffness one yang, yang stiff punya mana bang? This one is Vento Stabilita. Ah, oh, I love this shoe. Yeah. Okay, tell me about this shoe. Alright, this shoe, uh, Physics says that uh, this one, it uh, prioritizes the stability, comfort and also the power transfer. Alright, if you can see here, there is a uh, kind of strap. So you can adjust it using the BOA dial. And then, yeah, this one, the BOA dial. Okay. And then it will tighten wait, wait, wait. at ah, the... Yeah, alright. So the uh, bawah down. Uh, so when you tighten the bawah down, 
it will tighten the strap to follow your feet because we know cyclists and also human have very uh, different unique arch your feet right and then this one it will fit you nicely lah and then also even it fit you nicely so the power transfer will improve yeah. thousand ringgit we have Veto Stabilita Carbon this okay. black one and then also we have Infinito, Vento Infinito Knit Carbon This one using the knit material Oh, this is the one that I have Yeah. I think as all cyclists Don't go for the stiffest shoe Actually, you don't need two one So for some of us who are using the super stiff shoe uh, After 200km pun dah da bong eh, After 100km pun dah bong You park at Petronas, take off your shoe So sometimes the stiffest shoe And the high performance shoe is not the best thing Yep. Am I correct? Yeah. I think Mark Sajeta. I'm agree with you. <laughs> so how about you? Uh, so how about you? If let's say you will recommend, uh, how about female riders? What would you recommend for female riders? Female rider, I will recommend this one. Tempo Decos Carbon. First one is Tempo shoes. As I said, it's more to leisure one. And if if you can if you can see that, a uh, female rider always go the fancy fancy one. Oh, so, uh, you can see here, the color is very very nice. Okay. So for those endurance riders, which one would you recommend? Because I can see that Odex, the trend, the culture is picking up. A lot of people are hitting the 200 200 km ping ride. Sometimes up to 2,000 people join those kind of ride. I think a lot of endurance riders who started cycling might want to know what shoe would you recommend for those 100 km or those riders. Alright. Um, okay, I will recommend just oh, like I said this, earlier. Oh, this one again. Yeah, this one again. Overcurve R4. Tempo overcurve R4. And then the cutting itself, if you can see what is overcurve is the the shape, the asymmetric asymmetrical shape. Hmm. Shape of the shoes will uh, fit perfectly on your feet. Follow your shape of your feet. Lah. So this one is the best for you. Which also, uh, my buddy Marcus, I know Marcus who do, do all those 1000 km also. Uh, he's a big fan of this shoe. So I think uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Akal, all right. for explaining all the things that we at least now a bit educated. So I think the moral of the story today is this. The stiffest shoe isn't necessarily means the best shoe for you. Uh, and the day, listen to your feet. Don't listen to your friend. Yep. And don't listen to pro rider. Not all, not all of us can do pro rider performance. Right? Buy what your feet tells you to buy. lah. Alright, I would like to wish Happy Independence Day to everyone. And also, when you are cycling outside, stay safe and follow the rules. Mardeka! Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to share, like and subscribe Melvin Tan YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to follow his IG. Alright? Actually, I wanted him to say share, like, subscribe to Rodaling, which I'll put the link and description below. God bless you, take care, and see you on the road.